Hey, it's Chris. Today, I'm gonna to give you some options to upgrade your desk setup to help you do things like be ridiculously productive, be efficient beyond belief, be unbelievably comfortable, be organized, and just look cooler and better. That doesn't sound over the top, does it? Whatever, this is just some cool stuff that I recently found because I was in the middle of redoing my own setup. So at the moment, I still got the 16 inch MacBook Pro powering things right in the center, and it's now sitting directly underneath the LG ultra wide monitor. And this is a first for me. I've got a second LG monitor now in vertical orientation off to the right. And then of course, I got the trusty iPad Pro off to the left. So this is the latest iteration of what I like to refer to as my weapons of mass creation setup. It's time to get your wallets ready because there's something for everybody and every budget coming up. Powering any great multi-monitor setup is a great docking station. And the VT7100 from Vision Tech might just be the coolest one I've ever laid eyes or hands on. First of all, I hate having ugly stuff on the desk, so I avoid it if I can. And this thing's about as good looking as a dock can be. It almost looks like a mini retro Mac Pro, doesn't it? Except it fits in the palm of your hands. So it can power a triple 4K display setup, and it comes with a really nice high quality USB-C cord that's not gonna get bent out of shape. You can hook up into your Mac. And beyond that, it's got all the ports you would ever need or want. It's got tons in the back, but it's also got some really convenient ones in the front too. So you got a couple HDMI ports, you got a display port, you got four regular USB A's, plus you got a quick charge USB A in the front. You got a USB C with power delivery, you've got wired ethernet. And on the front you got a headphone jack, I'm gonna use it to plug in a microphone. And on top of all that, it delivers 100 watts of power. Basically, what doesn't it have? One thing I found that I really like is that there's real, actual, helpful customer service. I ran into a question when I was setting this up with my monitors, and so I did the chat function on the website. Someone answered immediately, and we got the thing solved in like two seconds. So aside from acting like a great hub for all the gadgets on my desk, I just really, really love those front ports. So useful. And check out this cool little stand that it comes with. Awesome. This thing's 369 bucks. It's premium, but it's well worth it, in my opinion. It turns out that all these years, I've been missing out on a really great desk chair, but I didn't even know it. See, for a long time, I've just been using this $50 chair that I got from Staples, and I thought, a chair is a chair. They're all the same. Well, that's not true in the slightest, and I didn't realize that until I sat my butt down in the DX Racer craft chair, and I was instantly like, oh, I wish I had known about this like 10 years ago. So the DX Racer Craft Custom Gaming Chair Special Edition is what they sent over. And first of all, as should be obvious from my reaction, it's comfy to sit in, but that's just table stakes for a great desk chair. It's also got adjustable lumbar support, what? And a really comfy neck pillow. It wasn't long ago when I upgraded to a luxury car and I didn't realize that the seats in there were gonna be as comfortable as they were. Those have massage functions. This doesn't, that's about the only thing that sets them apart. But this thing has adjustable arms, so not only can you move them up and down, but you can also bend them or point them in and out, which is actually really useful when it comes to typing, because when you're typing, your arms aren't straight out, right? They're sort of pointed in a little bit. And if all that wasn't enough, it also has a rocking mode, which you can lock or unlock. So it's sort of like a fidget spinner for your whole body. And yeah, you can recline if you really wanna relax and chill out. Really, I can't even tell you how happy I am with this chair. It's technically a gaming chair. And if you caught my recent videos, you know I used to have an Xbox on the desk hooked up to the gaming monitor. I moved that off the desk. It's now back hooked up to a TV. So I'm not really gonna be using this for gaming. For me, it's just a nice office chair with a lot of really great features. And my biggest takeaway after trying out this chair was don't neglect the seating aspect of your setup. You know, monitors are great. The computer itself is necessary. You might have some speakers and all kinds of different things, but the biggest upgrade is better seating, honestly. It's so nice. Now this thing's 469 bucks, definitely not cheap. This one's a luxury, comes in a bunch of different designs. Hey, you finding some good stuff in the video so far? If so, hit subscribe so it can keep recommending great products and apps for you. And you might wanna check out our podcast and clips channel while you're at it, because there's lots of good stuff there too. If you're looking for a desk or office accessory that costs under $100, I've got two really fun lights to show you from a company called Moonside. The first is the Moonside Lamp One, which I can only describe as one of the most fun lights I've ever encountered. It's super unique and different, and it is just a blast to watch. The second is Moonside's newest light, the Neon Lighthouse, 
which is kind of like a tube light that you can stand up and actually there's a separate stand that you can buy for it, which I'd recommend, which again, as you can see, is just super unique and adds a whole bunch of fun to your setup. Now the lamp one I've actually had for quite a while now and while you can control it with an app, including brightness and colors and smart home integration, I love just using the button on the bottom to turn it on, let it do its thing and just cycle endlessly through a bunch of cool colors. It's mesmerizing, as you can tell. Now, I've actually got two of these neon lighthouses, but I don't keep them on my desk. I actually keep one on each side of a signed Star Wars mask that someone gave me because they kind of remind me of two lightsabers. Now, just like the lamp one, there's a bunch of different modes that you can cycle through. So you can use the wired remote that comes with it or the app. But what's cool is there's a music mode so it can respond to sound, which is a lot of fun, as you can see. And honestly, that's the setting I keep these set at most of the time because it's so dynamic, kind of makes the office feel like it's coming alive. Yeah, I've become kind of addicted to these lights. They're so much fun. And actually, Moonside was cool enough to sponsor today's video. So they've got an exclusive discount code for you if you use Daily Tech, Daily T-E-K-K -K, at checkout using the link in the description you get an extra 8% off, which is a good deal because they're already on sale. All right, if you're looking for a new keyboard for your Mac setup and you want to give a mechanical keyboard a try, it's worth checking out this Kono 67 degree keyboard. So this is a 65% compact keyboard, which means it has no row of function keys, no numpad, but it comes fully assembled and you can hot swap the switches and also change out the keycaps, of course. So super customizable. And obviously they forgot to send me the Mac command key here. So it's still rocking the Windows key, but you can switch that out. All right, but it comes in black and white and it's got RGB lighting, including this cool vent looking area on the back of the keyboard, which I've never seen anything like that before. And if you use the software that comes with it, you can actually customize the lighting on a per key basis. One thing I really like is this dedicated volume knob here. That's legitimately just fun and cool to use. And it's also just different. You don't see that on a lot of Mac based setups. Now, importantly, you can wirelessly pair this with multiple devices. So if you want to use it for your Mac, but then later you want to use it with your iPad, you can do that. Now, if there was one thing I could change about this, it would probably be that I can't adjust the height or the typing angle, right? It just kind of has these built-in feet on the bottom and you get what you get there. And I'm actually just noticing this would go really well with your mood side lights. Those are like the RGB lighting of your office. So if you like RGB stuff, it's an obvious match. But I can also just tell this thing is just made really well. Super solid construction. So people either tend to love or hate typing on a mechanical keyboard, and that's gonna be the case here too. Personally, I honestly can't say I like typing on it better than I like typing on my Logitech MX keys, but there is something super satisfying about typing on mechanical switches. All right, so if you're looking for a compact mechanical keyboard and you like the looks and the features, this thing's a great option at 90 bucks. So recently I ran into this new company I'd never heard of before called Harbor London. And they make all kinds of luxury accessories, everyday carry stuff, stuff for your desk. And it was this one product here in particular that really caught my eye. It's what they call a tech dop kit, right? You're probably familiar with like a regular dop kit. Well, this one is a dop kit for all your tech gear. Now, something you gotta understand about my setup is that I have no built-in storage at my desk, but I did that on purpose because I like the clean, minimal feel of the desk that I picked. The downside, though, is that there's no built-in storage, which means I usually end up storing things like cords and chargers and adapters all over in my sideboard. So if I want something, I gotta either wheel the chair over or get up and go get it, bring it back over to the desk and use it. But enter the tech dop kit. This is something I can actually keep on hand and stash all the stuff that I don't want laying around in, which basically means this helps me declutter, but it's also movable storage. All right, so it's handmade in Spain, but it's got all these built-in pockets and dedicated slots for cords. All right, so I'm stashing in here things like AirPods, adapters, can keep some cords on deck, got some various chargers in there. And I can also keep some favorite gear on hand like this USB-C AirPods charger and the now famous USB-C port with media keys for your iPad Pro. It's like, man, this stuff's all clutter normally, but now I can just keep it out of sight and or bring it with me. Something else that Harbor sent me that's really felt like an upgrade is their wool felt desk mat. Now this thing comes in a variety of sizes and I love it. Aside from just looking good, it keeps the desk from getting scratched. It also acts kind of like a mouse pad slash a coaster for my drinks as well. So I'm not leaving rings on the desk. And while there's a ton of desk mats floating around out there, something that makes this one unique is that it's got a cable organizer in the back, which keeps things organized, number one, but it also keeps unplugged cables from slipping off the back of the desk, which I hate. You unplug something, it's like Phew. The other thing they sent over was their Black Edition leather MacBook sleeve, which is part leather, part wool. It's also got some storage in the front too, so you can bring stuff with. 
So, you know, I feel like it keeps things classy and protected all at the same time. All right, that's it for this video. I hope that you found something cool or useful for your setup, got you some ideas, if nothing else, for stuff to look for. If you liked it, hit subscribe and check out the podcast. There's lots of great accessories that we cover on there as well. Usually comes out on Fridays. Might start doing it like twice a week. I don't know. So if you just want to listen to the whole podcast in its entirety, you can find the Daily Tech Podcast linked up down below or in your favorite podcast app. Also, if you would rather watch the segments of the podcast, you can find those on the Clips channel, which is also linked up down below. It's the Daily Tech Clips channel. That's it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.